Hi, I'm Matthew from WhaleSync. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can two-way sync data between Airtable and Google Sheets. If you've ever tried to do a VLOOKUP or a cell reference in Airtable, you probably already know why connecting Airtable and Sheets can be such a big deal. I'm going to give you a couple quick use cases just to demonstrate how powerful it can be, and then we'll walk step by step into how you can do this yourself. What's great about all this is that I'm already using Airtable and Google Sheets. And pretty much anyone that I work with, whether on the team or a client, is comfortable with at least one of them. And so there really isn't a situation where I have to choose between one or the other or teach someone how to use Airtable, for example, right? When you bring Airtable and Sheets together, you get to use the best of both worlds, which can be incredibly powerful. Imagine you're managing a project in Airtable with tasks and priorities and status, but the rest of your team doesn't want to go into Airtable to make those edits. Maybe you have clients that are more comfortable in Google Sheets, or maybe you just don't feel like spending extra money on seats for every single person on your team. This is where you can bring a sync with Google Sheets into the mix. Here, you can set up a two-way sync, manage your project across Airtable and Sheets, and that way you can keep your seat count down and let the people that prefer Sheets work out of the tool that is better for them. For example, let's try updating a status, right? We can come into sheets here and maybe we say this is now completed when we do that and we have our two-way sync on whale sync will notice that it's changed in google sheets and come over to Airtable and make that update almost instantly now let's consider another use case if you're like me you like using google sheets to do calculations this is a very powerful tool where i can get something like expected revenue out of my current revenue projection multiplied by another cell as good as Airtable is at a lot of things, it just doesn't compare to Sheets or Excel when it comes to calculations. With this two-way sync, what I can do is almost the, the opposite. I can create whatever I want with calculations in Google Sheets and have that sync over to Airtable for management or even dashboards and interfaces like this. And again, what's really, really powerful and nice is I can change the inputs over on the Sheets side. So let's say I expect my growth rate to go up from 50% to 75%, right? That will change my expected revenue calculation automatically in Sheets. And in just a few seconds, we also can sync that data into Airtable and reflect it over here. And there it is. We were able to make an update in Sheets and have it reflected in the better to visualize Airtable interface. So now that we talked about why setting up an Airtable and Sheets to a sync is powerful, let me show you how I set this up myself. So I'm using our tool, Whale Sync, where you can come in here to the dashboard and set up a sync. I'm gonna go ahead and click New Sync to create a new one. And the first thing we'll do is just select Airtable as our app and authorize. Now to authorize Airtable, you're gonna to wanna to go over to your Airtable base, hit this share button, share publicly and grab the base sharing link. So this lets us go ahead and connect over to Airtable. And we'll need to just give it access there and grant access. And there we go. We're hooked up to our project management base. Let's go ahead and continue. The next one's going to be even easier with Sheets. We can literally just type in Sheets, authorize, and this one, it's going to ask for the URL. So I'll just grab that from up here and pop that in to our sheet and hit connect. This will go through the classic Google flow. We can authorize and allow. And there we go. We got Google Sheets set up. So once this is loaded, we can go ahead and give our sync a name. So let's just call it project management and save. Now from here, we'll get into the interesting part, which is setting up our table mappings. So if we go ahead back to our project management example, we've got our table with tasks, some other ones like projects and team members as well and a corresponding tasks table over in Sheets. Now, just to show you what this looks like to set it up from scratch, I'm gonna create a brand new sheet. So why don't we call this one tasks new, right? All we're gonna do is go ahead and set up the fields that we have in Airtable over here in Sheets. So we've got task name, status, priority, and description. And let's just bold them to make it a little more obvious. From here, come back over to Whale Sync and hit table mappings. Now what Whale Sync will do right now is go take a look at Airtable and take a look at Sheets and see which tables it can find within each app. 
and it'll give me some suggested ones if the names match the same. Uh, if you'll remember, we just set up our uh, tasks here on Airbrook table and our new one to be task new. So I can just select it from this dropdown. I'll go ahead and hit create new. RailsLink will then analyze both sides to see if it can map any fields based on their names, right? So if we take a look again at our data, we've set up fields like task name and status on both sides. So what WhaleSync can do is recognize that. We can hit auto map fields and there we go. Instantly, this is all set up and mapped for us. Of course, we can go in and pick other fields from this dropdown, but uh, for now, we've got all the ones we need. In the middle here, we have the sync direction. By default, this is two-way, but for example, if you were setting up a client and said, you know what, no matter what, I don't want the client to be able to update the task name, right? You can set this up as a one-way sync, and that way it'll only sync from Airtable Sheets. It won't be able to be overridden the other way. But the beautiful thing here is that we have this two-way sync, and that is going to basically power most of our syncing. Now, if we wanted to set up other table mappings, like our projects table, uh, or deadlines, or team members, we can always set that up too by hitting new table mapping. But for now, let's just start with this one and hit save and exit. From here, we can move into preparing the initial sync, this is basically going to tell WhaleSync to scan the data that it sees before turning this on. So what's really nice is that WhaleSync can give you a preview of what it's going to do before doing it because it actually understands what's in Airtable and what's in Google Sheets. So I'll hit continue. Here are all of the option to match up existing records. So if I already had tasks on both sides, I can bring them together and tell WhaleSync that I actually want to merge those two. Um, but what's nice here again with our data in Sheets is that this is all clean and brand new. So no need to do any matching. We can just move on in to the preview. As expected, what the preview is telling us is that six new records will be added in Sheets. None will be added in Airtable because again, we have just some records here in uh, Airtable and none yet in Sheets. So that all matches up. Let's hit continue. The final step here is just activating the sync. So let's go ahead and turn this on and this will run this initial sync in another five, 10 seconds or so. This will start to count up and our sync will be activated. And there we go. We've got all of our records synced over. This initial sync is completed. We can hit continue and there, we, there it is. Our sync is active. And if I go ahead and hit view sync, this will take me just back to what we set up here. It'll show how we've configured it all. But the pretty part is we can come back over to our combination of Airtable and Sheets and see that this is all synced up now. We have tasks that match and priorities, and you can even go in and change Sheets here to dropdowns. So if I wanted to go ahead and turn this into a dropdown like this, right? And maybe we make, you know, high priority ones, something, something along these lines, right? I can go ahead, hit done. And now even within Sheets, I've got these nice little dropdowns here. But again, the overarching idea is I've set up this two-way sync. It took me like five minutes or so. And now whenever I update data in Sheets, it syncs back to Airtable and vice versa. So the people on my team or my clients can just use the tool that makes sense for them. So that's the quick overview of how you can two-way sync Airtable with Sheets and how we basically connect it to make our project management easier as well as take advantage of the things that make each tool awesome, right? So by unlocking the powerful data manipulation and calculations and formulas in Sheets, as well as the really easy spreadsheet uh, viewing and editing ability of Airtable, it basically opens up us to do whatever we want across these tools. So I hope that was helpful. And yeah, excited for you guys to sync Airtable and Sheets. And um, whatever, let us know if you have any questions about how we got this done or any other tutorials that would be helpful.